Hello. What I want to do today is talk to you about maximum power transfer. In other words, let's suppose this is a load resistance, okay, and this is my, my source, which consists of a voltage source here, V of S, and we've got a, a resistance associated with that, R of S. Then I'm considering the maximum power or what value this resistor has to be in order to transfer maximum power into that resistor, into that load. So how would we actually deal with that? Well, look, first let's go ahead and calculate the current I of S. Okay, so I S is really going to be equal to what? It's this voltage V S, and that's divided by the resistance that we have, which is R S plus R L. Okay, so that's I S. Okay, we know that the power in that load is going to be equal to the current going through it squared multiplied by that load resistance. So this is going to be what? I S squared times that R L. And so really, what is that? I'm going to take this I S and put it into the equation. And so that is equal to, open up a bracket here, this is V S divided by R S plus R L, close the bracket, that's squared, multiplied by RL. All right, let's see if we can work on this just a little bit here um, and see what we've got. So basically the power in the load then is equal to, what is this at the top here? It's going to be what? Vs squared, isn't it? Uh, that's divided by, well, that's times RL, and then that's divided by, I've got a RS plus an RL, haven't I? Times an RS plus an RL, close the bracket. So that's really what I have. Now, what we're going to do is expand this bracket out, okay? So this is equal to a VS squared multiplied by RL. And what I've got here is RS times RS, which is an RS squared, isn't it? RS times RL, another RS times RL, so that's a plus two, isn't it? RS, RLs, and then I've got RL squared, so that's plus an RL squared. Okay, let's take this one step further. I'm going to say the power in the load is equal to, that's VS squared, all right, and that's going to be divided by, so really I'm going to divide top and bottom by RL. And so what I have is, I have a RS squared divided by RL plus Remember that was 2RS RL, but I'm dividing that as well by RL. So that just leaves me with a 2RS. And then, of course, I've got RL squared divided by RL. So that's a plus RL sitting over here. All right. Now, we want to basically look at the case where this denominator here is a minimum to determine the value of RL, okay, that will make that happen. And that will determine the maximum power that I can have in that load resistor. So what I'm going to say here is I really want to work on the denominator. It will be an easier way to go. And I'm looking at making that denominator a minimum by my choice, really, of RL. So the question is, really, how do I do that? So I'm going to write down here that the denominator is really equal to what is it? It's this RS squared divided by RL plus a 2RS plus an RL. So what do you think I need to do to make that a minimum? What I'm going to do is I'm going to differentiate that denomin denominator with respect to RL. Let me just take that one more step. That denominator is really equal to the RS squared bring this up to the top, that's an RL minus 1, then I've got my plus 2RS plus the RL. So I'm going to differentiate the denominator with respect to RL. And if I do that, what do I get? The minus 1 comes outside, so that's a minus, isn't it? RS squared. I take 1 from this, so that is what? That's an RL minus 2. This is a constant. It goes away. So that's a plus. Differentiating that term, 
that just becomes a one. Okay? Now in order to find that minimum, we're going to set that equal to zero. So what do I have? Let's just rewrite that. I have a minus rs squared, take that down, that's a rl squared plus a one is equal to zero. All right, take this to the other side. Basically, what do I have? I have one is equal to rs squared divided by rl squared, which means that rl squared is equal to rs squared. And I can say then for maximum power, I need to make rl equal to this value of rs. So that is the case then for maximum power transfer into the load. Okay? All right, let's look at an example here. All right, I'm trying to determine the value of RL. This is my load attached to this circuit so that I have maximum power transferred to that load. Okay, what value should it be? All right. Well, yeah, it's a little bit complicated looking. Um, so really, what should I do here? I really need to simplify this. All right. A way to do that, of course, is what? To find the Thevenin equivalent of this. How do you find the Thevenin equivalent? Well, you're going to take off the load. Okay, and you can say my Thevenin voltage then is equal to what? Load going away, it's this open circuit voltage, isn't it? Okay. No current flowing through here, so it's the voltage across that 60 ohm resistor. And so we can say the Thevenin voltage is 60 divided by the sum of the two. It's a voltage divider, so that is a 60 plus a 30 uh, times 12, okay? And if we just work this out, it comes out to be 8 volts. What about the Thevenin resistance? The Thevenin resistance, well, we've only got an independent source here. So that's an easy one to deal with. We can just take off the load. It's the resistance we have looking back in here. What do I see? I see that 70 ohms in series with the parallel combination of these two. And so the Thevenin resistance is the parallel combination of these two, which is 30 times 60 divided by 30 plus 60, and then plus that 70 ohms. And of course, if I work that out, it'll come out to be 90 ohms, okay? So my Thevenin equivalent circuit looks like this, where this is 8 volts sitting here. I've got my Thevenin resistance sitting up here, which is 90. Here are my terminals. I could call this A and B, right? And as far as terminals A and B are concerned, this, or rather this, is equivalent to this. I then take my load. I'm going to place my load back over here, RL. So what value do I make RL? For maximum power transfer, as we showed before, I need to make that load resistance there equal to this resistance over here. That's like my RS resistance that we spoke about uh, on the previous page. So I need to make this equal to this. And so I can say, yep, for maximum power transfer, I'm going to make RL equal to 90 ohms. Okay, so for max power transfer. Okay, so by taking the Thevenin equivalent, we have made a complex problem really into a simple one, a simple way of calculating the resistance RL for that maximum power transfer. See you next time.